this is Deja Payne reporting for the Charlotte Basketball Network. I'm here at Vance High School with head coach Brian Frazier. Brian, I know that this is a different season than one that you've ever coached before because of the fact that now we have COVID in the picture. Absolutely. So over the last few months, looking at summer on, how has it been trying to interact with the guys as you guys prepare for the season? Well, uh, it's been really tough um, simply because after our season was over, I hadn't seen the guys in like a couple months. And typically we had the, the summer to kind of prepare, to get the guys to, to gel together, build relationships, you know, typically go to summer camps and stuff like that. And unfortunately we hadn't been able to do that. And so now that school is now full remote, we hadn't been able to get the guys in school to kind of build relationships. And so that's been tough as well. So the, the, the chemistry part and the relationship part has been tough. And no, I get it. I mean, it's like I said, it's something that we all had to adjust to. Unfortunately, I know in sports it's had the biggest impact. Now, with last season, obviously you guys finished 11-3 and in conference, falling just short to Olympic in the third round. Mm -hmm. So with the squad that you have right this second, what do you think is going to be the most impactful for the team looking at the season to pretty much get yourselves in the same position, if not even better? Well, uh, continue to just to work, you know, just to take advantage of practice time, take advantage of games. We, we, we're limited on games. We have 14 games this season, and every game matters, and just having the guys prepared. Um, I think if they continue to practice like they did today, we are definitely be in the same situation we were in last year, if not better. Okay. So looking at who you have right now, who are you wanting to see the most out of this season? Well, my big guy, Daniel, Daniel Sanford Hankins. I mean, Hankins Sanford. Um, He's been good. He had 29 in um, the first game, 29 and 17 rebounds. Last night he had 25 and like six rebounds and five assists. So he's playing really, 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 really well this year. Um, I'm expecting big things. He's our captain, he's our leader, and we're leaning on him a lot in regards to getting us to. I just told him the other day, we're gonna go as far as he takes us. I mean, he's the, he's the man and, and, and he runs this program. So we're depending on him a lot this year. Now I know that you and Daniel have a very good relationship, and of course he is your man, he's your go-to guy this year. How have you been able to build such a good relationship with him, especially through limited communication? Uh, he, he FaceTimes me six times a day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a little different, but uh, he, he likes that. He likes that interaction, you know, more of a personal relationship. And so we FaceTime, we talk, we text quite often. Um, and anytime that we have practice, we're spending um, uh, multiple times after practice just talking and building a relationship. So um, that relationship has grown stronger over the years. Um, and that's the reason why I've been, been able to hold on to him through this COVID situation versus him uh, transferring. Now I know that that's super important. That's how you're going to get the best out of your guys by building that type of relationship. So I commend you for being able to keep that so strong through this time. But obviously you guys have started out really hot here in these first two games, a lot of which was coming from Daniel. What do you think has been so key for the team playing so well, you know, starting off here? Uh, simply his leadership. Um, they feed off of him. Um, his work ethic in practice has uh, increased everybody else's work ethic. Um, they're focused because he's focused, everybody else is focused. And his will to want to win it makes them want to win. So because of his leadership and his, his will, uh, we're, we're in the position we're in right now. Absolutely. Now, obviously, with every team, there's still things that can be improved. So, with what you've seen out of these guys in practice and in these first two games, what do you think are focus points for you guys to still try to work on as a team looking at the rest of the season? Uh, chemistry. Um, th uh, those guys continue to get to know each other. Um, bringing five sophomores up from, from JV. Um, so, this is their first year with varsity experience. Um, I got a couple guys that didn't play as much last year that was on the varsity, um, varsity last year. So now they got to step up and play. And so now it's just a concoction of guys just trying to build chemistry and, and build that relationship out on the floor. Um, just looking for one, an one another, knowing what each other can do and how they can help each other out on the floor. Well, looking at the roster that you have, it looks like you have a lot of talent. So it looks like you guys have very high hopes for this season. So. Of course, I wish you the best of luck, Coach, and I appreciate you taking some time to speak with me. This is Deja Payne with the Charlotte Basketball Network.